The House of Pride opened its gates and welcomed us as honorary champions. They say it's simple hospitality, but I suspect we have you to thank. Now is the difficult part. We can hold Chloricon, even push a little into Alabastra Gadflow. Once the House of Pride gives their word, they'll never break it. At least, not what it looks like we're winning. Our real problem is that we can't march the army through Alabastra. Not in formation, at least. This will call for smaller groups. Alabastra is a maze of valleys. Gadflow's remaining faithful would spot an army moving together, and the valleys would be the death of us. But where an army would fail, the five of us can triumph. If we split up, we can travel faster and catch them unaware. We will at the House of Vengeance, on Gadflow's doorstep. From there, we strike at Bale, the heart of his empire. More than you'd think. But I promise I'll explain it all to you. Maybe once Gadflow's dead. I'll see you in Alabastra. Next, we move on to Alabastra. Death, pain, blood, and unpleasant answers. We're not going to stop Gadflow by just standing here and chatting. Lead the way. I'll meet you at the House of Vengeance. I'll see you at the House of Vengeance. Hope you've got better luck this time. I need to talk with you, but not here. I'll find you in Alabastra. I've put together a few facts about your death, and I think I know something grave. But not here. I don't want to cause a panic. I'll give them the slip and talk with you a little bit. Welcome to Alabastra, hero. The hero of Melsenshir. I've heard all about you. Private Eilis Uva at your service. Don't have much for supplies, but you're welcome to them.
Jester of the Agarth wanted me to keep an eye on Lady Shear, but you and I need to have a talk first. I've been reviewing conclusions about your death and Tiernock. I don't know exactly, but it must have been a tremendously powerful source of magic. So powerful that the Well of Souls couldn't help but pick up on it. You were attuned to the well in my lab, but Hugh's well captured your essence. The power in Bale seems to have been the missing element. What's more, I think that power is the source of the Prismere Crystals. Something intelligent and malignant. The creature the Tuatha called Tiernok. Something incredibly powerful. I don't know if we even have a name for what she is. Because no one's lived to name it. She's not a god. She's something much, much worse. And judging by the growth of this Prismere, she's very close to coming into our world for good. Whatever Gadflow's been doing, it's all in order to bring her here. So you've got to stop him, before it's too late. With tremendous difficulty. Even so, there weren't as many Tuatha here, and we used magic to keep us hidden. Magic which you provided, in fact. You never did explain where you got those fascinating little artifacts. Ventrinio insists on coming with me. Just as well. Someone should keep an eye on him. No telling where his true loyalties lie, or what he might do. I was going to sneak there by myself, but Ventrinio insists on following me. Don't worry, I'll make sure he's safe. Very noble, but we need to stay separate in order to avoid drawing too much attention. The gnome is more than enough for me to deal with. I'll see you soon enough. Don't worry. I'll see you in Alabastra.
With horrors, screams, and ghostly face, we leave blood in a graven place. The forest black and nighttime sky, the blood that pours forth from your eye. A feast for maggots and craven all that eat the dying when they fall. Instead of vibrant fighting flesh that fights the bargains and the thresh, that knows the plight of Seely Fay, you who walk the Nirilin's way. And reckon fates of mortal dust, and keep an oath or break a trust. We hunger for your corpse once more, to hear your cries and anguished roar. Oh, my God. 
The hiking Mathon ruled the bleak, silent fields of Wintertide. He kept the season as it should be. The blizzards howling, the skies filled with snow in the gloom of a long night. He purified the land under a white blanket and allowed death to end the slow decay of autumn. The woods paid homage in leaves. The waters paused at his arrival. The world revered him in a barren stillness.
Hagarth will not be far behind you. Neither of us saw any sign of Aelin Shear or Ventrinu. A scout on the ridge above saw the two Arthur mounting for a counterattack. You should hear what he has to say before we move on. If you'd rather not wait, talk with Agarth. Time is of the essence. Agarth, if he tells you he's ready, then my people are as well. Of course, if you wish to proceed with caution, the scout on the ridge will know what we're up against. Careful. Yeah,